I know prices have been out of the water for the last couple of years, but I'm happy to report that there are more than 10 different cities that are now considered affordable in the greater Phoenix area. In this video, I'm gonna talk about my top five and why. So don't go anywhere because you're not gonna wanna miss this, especially if you're a first time home buyer. Hello, this is Cheryl Willis over at the Real Agent Now group right here in Phoenix, Arizona. And if this is the first time to our channel, you're going to want to tap that little subscribe button and click that little bell so that you are notified each and every time we release a new video. We are getting dozens of calls every single day and we love it. Look, if you're thinking about moving to the greater Phoenix area and you're not sure where the best deals are or the best prices or the more most affordable areas are, and you still want to be able to eat, sleep, drink, play and enjoy life. Well, you know you're gonna need to just pick up that phone give us a call shoot us a text send us an email days nights or weekends we got your back when moving to phoenix arizona all right guys let's get at it right now all right guys so it's no news to you <laughs> that there's been a slight change in the real estate market across the nation we all know in fact i remember having these conversations in january of 20 22 about how interest rates were going to go up and they were going to suppress the market and they would come back to about one year's time well here we are fast forward to today the first quarter of 2023 and my prediction was right what exactly do i mean the phoenix metro area saw a median price of four hundred and eighty thousand dollars in may of 22. that was earth shattering even for us that number we really knew could not be sustained that's too high a price well today as we closed up the year for 22 we are back down to a median of 415. Does that mean the average? No. Does that mean all homes have come down in value? No, it doesn't. But what it does mean is that there are more homes at lower prices selling than the higher prices. Again, hallelujah. Let me tell you, here's an example that did not make our most affordable list. And that is Scottsdale, probably the most famous or infamous city of all of greater Phoenix area. So the median price did decline by quite a bit. The median price now in Scottsdale is $930,000. But that also was a range from 400,000 to 7 million. So as you can see, it's a big, gap. The median number means half have sold above and half have sold below. It's a slower pace number than average. So it gives you a more accurate feel of what's going on as opposed to something that just might spike the market for a month or two, like interest rates jumping up or jumping down, or maybe like Super Bowl coming to town. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what has been going on in the greater Phoenix area. The median high in May of 2022 is four, was 480,000. As we closed the year, wrapped it up in 22 December, we are down to 415,000, which is the same about in October of 21. That's 14 months earlier. So for all those buyers that were having anxiety about jumping in the market in 21 you were waiting for the market to come down and now it went it went way up <laughs> another 20 percent it's now come back down when was the last time you got to do a repeat <laughs> and i know the talk right now is about interest rates and i'm going to get into that at the end of the video because that's not what i really talk about but let me tell you marry the house just date the rate if you haven't heard that slogan before. All right, I'm gonna talk about, there are 10 cities actually in the greater Phoenix area that now have a median below 400,000. Shocking. People call me now and say, I need 400's my max. We have lots of choices, which let me tell you, a year ago or even a year and a half ago, that was almost an untouchable price. 
this is such an exciting time, but I'm going to pick my top five favorites because there are some cities that I think have more to offer, like not only the price, but the newness of the home, like how new are these homes in this price point? I'm also going to be talking about area of focusing on areas that are promising for positive, moderate growth over the next three to five years. Remember, if you are thinking of buying a home and you don't think you're going to stay in the area in that house for a minimum of three, preferably five years, it truly is better to rent and don't let any realtor talk you into something different. Also, freeway access to me means everything. That's your bloodline into your lifestyle, right? You want to be able to get to and from easily. Nothing is more stressful, in my opinion, than traffic. And it's a horrible way to start your day. School options. We as a state have open enrollment, but you want to be within close proximity of the most favorable schools or school districts. Now, don't forget that that voucher that you can get with the state can be moved from public schools to private schools, to charter schools, to micro schools, to all the different schools that we have in the greater Phoenix area. It is unbelievable how many school choices children, parents, four children have in the greater Phoenix area. It's insane. And upper level, high school, postgraduate, master's, technical, I'm telling you, there are so many options in the greater Phoenix area. And you know, most graduates wind up staying here because it is more affordable than some of the other higher paying tech areas. The last important thing is employment. Being close to employment, which kind of ties in with that traffic and freeway access is super, super important. Even if you have a job today with one particular type of industry, if things were to change, or let's say you wanted to shop around, you want to have options. So with these things coming into consideration, here are my top five cities in the greater Phoenix area that are affordable today. All right, big shout out to Visual Capitalist. Thank you for letting me use this screenshot, but I, I am super, super visual. And I wanted to share this with you so you can have kind of a better idea of what you need to make in order to afford a medium price home in the respective areas. We are very often compared to um, Texas and Florida. And clearly by looking at this graph, you are going to see, and it's not really a graph, a map, you're going to see that you really can get more home for your buck in Texas, most of Texas and parts of Florida. Here's what the difference is. Your preference for lifestyle, demographic, and weather, to be honest with you, you are dealing with hurricanes, you're dealing with humidity, or you're dealing with heat. Pick one of your three, which one is the lowest <laughs> of uh, that, you, that you're okay with? That's what it really comes down to. Also from a travel perspective, if you have to travel, whether it be international or you have family, let's say you have family on the West Coast, clearly Phoenix makes the best idea because obviously it's only an hour, hour and a half flight. It's also much cheaper. Texas airports are extremely busy, but at the same time, they're also big hubs. Florida, you are way there in the southeast part of the country. And I'm telling you, if you want to go visit family and the holidays on the West Coast, it's a whole day there and a whole day back. Here's the thing about that map, though. It's over a year old. And so when you look at things online, you really can't see what the dates are unless you really do your research. At the same time, that's not what you're really looking for. You're just looking for specifically whatever you typed in, keywords, right? So you wouldn't know that this information that's on that screen was old. And that's why you need to call us because our charts, when we talk about what's going on in the greater Phoenix area, some of the data that we look at is actually recorded every day. Usually we don't look at it, but once a week. And then we also look for trends over four to six weeks time. But by the time it gets to the media, you're talking three to six months behind. So try not to get yourself lost in the internet and not knowing what is current. This video channel, this is current. Look at all my video library. We have all kinds of information for you. Before I recommend these five cities that are now affordable, let's look at the overall crime grade.org map. 
I love this website. If you want to know more specific about one zip code, all you have to do is go to crimegrade.org, type in the zip code, and it will hone in on that area. Anything that's orange or close to that orange area is going to be a higher crime rate, and anything towards the green is bueno. So if you'll notice, there are some areas in central Phoenix that might have a little bit more orange than you want. And I would agree. There are parts of Phoenix that are significantly below the median. But remember this, you get what you pay for. So again, in my criteria, I am looking for low crime and a high safety rating as one of my criteria. All right, coming in at number five is Buckeye, Arizona. Buckeye right now is showing a median prices of about 378, 990. It's nice to see a lot of choices in Buckeye because I'm telling you the city of Buckeye has so many amazing plans. It is just going to blow your mind over the next 10 years. Like I said, if you're gonna be moving here less than three years, then yes, I would highly recommend that you rent. But if you are planning to be in the greater Phoenix area and you will have a need to be on the southwest part of the greater Phoenix area, I would highly recommend Buckeye. Now, the two negatives that I don't like right now from Buckeye is number one, freeway access. It's minimal, but it meets my minimum standards. But again, compared to some of these other cities, it's probably the most traffic challenged, uh, if you ask me. And it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. And if there is a backup on Interstate 10, Sorry guys, you're just screwed. You're just gonna have to sit there and wait. There is no other roads. So you just turn around and say, I'm not coming in. We don't have snow days, we have freeway days. I'm just kidding. Uh, but Buckeye is going to be amazing. Give it 10 years, 10 years. Some of the, build, the developments that are going on the, out there, first of all, there's one called Terravelis that has been talked about for about 20 years. And they finally just got through absolutely everything. Um, you know, the drought has definitely come in and put a little bit of a thorn in everyone's side in the Southwest part of the country, but they finally received the approval. They've, be, they've met all the requirements that are needed and they are building a hundred thousand homes out there. This is going to be a city like you cannot even imagine. Also, there is an organization that's part of the U.S. It's a like Downtown Association of America. Um, and I used to be very involved locally here with my city council and, and get involved in the downtown feel and everything because everybody loves that downtown feeling, right? You like uh, kind of the walking district and you like the, you know, this, this the little shops and the restaurants with cute patios and such. Well, here's something, you know, um, we have some of the older downtowns that you can do that in. Obviously, we have Scottsdale, we have Chandler, Gilbert, Glendale. There are all kinds of little downtowns, but here is one, Buckeye, that they are going to be making their own from the ground up. They are taking all the wins from the top downtown destinations throughout the country, and they're bringing it to Buckeye. I'm telling you, Buckeye is going to be a solid investment for for a home purchase over the next 10 years. Coming in at number four is a city that you've probably not heard of yet called Tullison. Tullison right now is kind of a quiet little town. Um, for the most part, the only thing you can really find out there is brand new construction. Yay. So if you are especially a first time home buyer and you're not really sure what those expenses are going to be like owning a home, buying a brand new home is honestly your best bet. Um, I know sometimes it is a little pricey, but in Tolson, the median, again, median price is 389 right now. What I love about Tolson is the proximity. So Tolson is a little bit closer in from Buckeye. When I say closer in, I mean closer into the metropolitan area. But this is where we are seeing major companies move. This is considered an employment corridor. So in this area of 10, Interstate 10, we are seeing um, distribution companies companies, manufacturing companies, move out to this area. So even if the company is moving a little bit further east, perhaps in Levine or in um, actual South Phoenix, which I would not recommend people actually buy in that part of Phoenix for the crime rate ratings. Um, but 
Tolleson is close enough for you to get to work. It is super close to Glendale, spring training, Phoenix airport. You can get to the zoo. You can get hiking. You can get into Goodyear. You can hike Estrella Mountain Ranch. You can get just north of Interstate 10 and you're going to get all kinds of shopping and everything you need. Tolleson is an up and coming desert town that isn't all the way outside of town. So I'd highly recommend that you take a closer look at Tolleson. Number three is one of my favorites in any market, and that is the city of Maricopa. Now the city of Maricopa is actually located in the northern part of Pinal County. So the property taxes are just a little bit different and the utility districts are also a little bit different. But what I love about Maricopa is the proximity. With Intel expanding by two fabs, by over $26 billion, it is insane, making it super easy to get on that freeway and pop right on home to Maricopa. I am talking 20 minutes. 20 minutes from South Chandler to Maricopa. You can't beat that with the median price today. Listen, are you ready? 344,495. So let's just say 345. Look, I love the town of Maricopa and it has everything you need. Everything from Walmart, it has um, a hospital, you know, a, a, a main medical center. It has two grocery stores now. It has all your, your hair people, your nail people. It has all the fast food. I'm li literally, I think every fast food restaurant is in the city of Maricopa. And even though they don't have a Home Depot or Lowe's just yet, they have my most favorite Ace Hardware. And I swear to God, you walk in there, they don't know me, but when I walk in there, it feels like they're my friends right down the street. It is such a quaint city and it, it is only 20 to 30 minutes outside of the greater Phoenix area. They are going to be doing major infrastructure improvements over the next couple of years, which might be a little congestive, which I have to say they're doing that right now in the Phoenix Tempe area, um, Interstate 10. It's gorgeous where they've done it. They've widened it and it's smooth. And I'm telling you, you're just flying. So let me tell you <laughs> that although that construction is still to come, I'm telling you again, when you're looking at a five to 10 year period of time, Maricopa is in my opinion, one of the hottest places that you can invest your money in. Raise a family, be outside, outside of the greater Phoenix area. And for employment purposes, there's so many different directions you can go. You can go south to Casa Grande, which is where Lucid Technologies, it is exploding down there in Casa Grande. Although Casa Grande did make the top 10 list, I still feel that Casa Grande is still kind of a really small farm town. So again, my choice for number three is the city of Maricopa. All right, coming in at number two is Apache Junction. Many of you are probably thinking, Apache Junction, I never even thought of that. You're right, many people don't, but I have to tell you, the number one thing that I love about Apache Junction is space and views. I am telling you, breathtaking. So I have to say it kind of trumped the whole school options because I have to tell you the schools up there, there's not a lot of good choices. You'd have to drive into Mesa and or Gilbert um, in order to get children in, in my opinion, quality schools. If you are a homeschool parent or if you don't have school age children, you might seriously want to consider Apache Junction. I am telling you, the same homes that are being built on the other side of the mountain, the million dollar homes that are in Apache Junction are two to $3 million in Scottsdale, just because it's on the other side of the mountain. I'm not saying Apache Junction is ever gonna be Scottsdale, but again, when you look at what is going to be built between Mesa and Gold Canyon, right in the heart of Apache Junction, I'm telling you in a 10 years time, you are going to see so much improvement. We're talking over 10,000, I think it's actually 12,000 homes um, that will be built um, just north of East Mark. Um, we also have um, major freeways in this area. We have the Interstate 60. We also have 202. And there are also some um, highways that are also connecting Apache Junction to the main 
part of the greater Phoenix area. If you love the outdoors, you're going to love Apache Junction. If you're looking for horse property, we're talking some of the best places. It is a tad bit cooler at the base of the mountain and it is absolutely stunning. I just can't say enough about Superstition Mountains and the views. Um, and there is so much fun as far as outdoor activities. There's a shooting range out this way. There's also the Salt River that you can catch tubes down in the summertime. Or if you are a kayaker, which I am not, everybody loves going on the Salt River, which is right over here. You're also going to find Saguaro Canyon Lake. No, it's not called Saguaro Canyon Lake. It's called Saguaro Lake and Canyon Lake. Yes, there's two lakes up this way. And here's the thing with the Apache Junction. Some of the new construction out there is the prices are in the high 300s with the median price of about 350. I get a lot of questions um, from people that ask they want to um, they want to build or, or bring tiny homes or they want um, to put manufactured trailers or you know other type of living quarters on property. Apache Junction is a great place to put your sights on. And the top of our list, the top of my list, my favorite list, my favorite affordable city list, even <laughs> the city of Mesa. Look, I've done several videos on Mesa. Definitely check out my library. You're gonna see all kinds of things all over Mesa. And there are different parts of Mesa that offer affordability. Yes, there are the million dollar private gated golf pickleball private communities. And there are also um, adult communities, um, which, I, you know, retirement communities. There are also some very low income areas, which again, look at the crime grade map. I'm telling you, you just wanna be careful about where you select a home in Mesa. But there are some fantastic deals, again, in the three bedroom, two bath, 15 to 1700 square feet with two car garage, and the median price in Mesa, this is all of Mesa, is at $394.5. So if you're looking for something in Eastmark, you need to be a little bit over four. But you can be just outside of Eastmark, a little bit north, and you are going to love the options. Look, your first home especially is not going to be your forever home. It's an investment. You're kind of paying the piper. You you need to pay your dues. You are getting in at a fantastic time. Again, marry the home and date the rate. And what I mean by that is today's sellers will help first, well, not even first time home buyers, any home buyer buy the home. The sellers are super motivated. Most sellers have anywhere from 20 to 75% equity. They have some extra money so they can throw your way to assist in those closing costs. The buyer is still responsible for their down payment. And if you are a first time home buyer, you can get into a home for as little as 3% down. There are a couple of different choices depending on what your credit scores and what your debt to income ratio is. But you can get in to your very first home that you were not able to even think about, not even fathom, uh, dream about a year ago. Now is the time to get in and that seller will do what they call a two one buy down. That means they pay down your interest rate the first year by 2% and the second year only by 1% and then the third year it resumes. You do need to qualify at today's rate. So let's just say today's rate was six and a half. That means for the first year, your interest rate would only be four. You'll be paying a mortgage on four and a half percent. And the second year it would go up to five percent, five and a half percent. And then the third year it would resume what it was originally intended for at six and a half percent. This gives you opportunity to save money, possibly build equity. Although again, don't plan on selling a home in less than three years, we are going to be seeing a moderate appreciation, albeit a, an appreciation over the next few years. But at the same time, save your money, work on you know building up your income. You're also paying down that mortgage. And let me tell you, when you're putting that sweat and tear into your home, you, I'm telling you, Home Depot and um, Lowe's are going to be your friend. I used to love to go on over there to the DIY projects. And I, we all become, you know, Dan and Steve, I don't know, Don, Don and Sue, I don't even watch those shows, but I bet you, you do. All right, guys, look, if you're thinking about buying a home in the greater Phoenix area, 
There honestly has never been a better time to do it than right now. I know that sounds weird because there's a whole bunch of information on YouTube and everywhere else, but here's the thing. The media reports four to six month old information and YouTube, what do you think gets more views? Scaring people. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you and I would love to answer your questions. So pick up the phone, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, days, nights, or weekends. We got your back when moving to Phoenix, Arizona. And if it's not time for you yet, and you still just have some questions, just give us a call. We'll be here when you're ready to buy a home in the greater Phoenix area. All right, guys, until next time, be kind, be safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye. And don't forget, um, like below, please. Share with your friends and make comments. See you soon, bye.